Hello, and welcome back to the Scarlet Cascabel. Uh, we're here at the hotel. I just spotted this window with this wooden beam up above it. So I'm going to see if I can get an arrow into the end of that and get up there. Ah, uh, well, I mean, I can get an arrow. Oh, okay. I got my arrow in there. You can see it against the dark of the night sky, but uh, the rope is not anywhere near long enough. Uh, hang on a second. Is there any more wood around there? Is that wood at the base? Or is that stone? That's stone at the base. So, if, it was, if that was wood, I'd be able to stick a rope in there and get up, but as it is, that's, that's uh, hmm, not as useful as I thought. I was just thought I was going to go up there and get in. Oh well, change of plan. Change of plan. Let's just get back in here. And keep exploring the ground floor and I guess recover my rope arrow later when I get back to the, the top floor. Actually, you know what? This stuff is worthless. So let's not raise too many suspicions. Let's just put it back on the shelves. Oops. If I can. Yeah, whatever. I'm not playing uh, Supreme Ghost anyway. What was that? Oh, there's nothing. Just a foot cluttering on the Nothing could get in here. Yeah, this place is thoroughly well guarded. You had one bellboy at the front door, you know. Alright. So I've been to just came out of the gallery, I've been through here. Uh I think it's time to start heading Yeah, oh, this is the second floor, sorry. The doors here on the east side of the lobby were locked, so I think I'm gonna have to go up around to these stairs and then through the corridors here to head around uh, north from the lobby. These doors. Wait, no, that's north doors. Oh, that is that door, that's. Oh well, that's not gonna work then friend in the lobby who we spooked before accidentally, but, um... Oh, what was that? Yeah, there was nothing. Can't pick that. It's the ballroom. Can't get in there. There's a couple of people we uh, had to knock out unexpectedly. Okay, hang on. Now, now I'm just going around in circles. If those doors are locked, you know, if I just put a key where, where we need a key, then, um, there's a problem. Although there's no saying that those hall doors, the ones here, need, need to be greased. Maybe they're not actually locked, locked. Maybe we just need to find the toolbox. I'm gonna read the note again to see what it says. It's down here where this guy was asleep. I think. Uh, blah blah blah. Constant accusations. The toolbox has gone missing. I return after every shift. Seems to be a prankster about. What was the note that I picked up? Where would the toolbox be? Oh wait, wait, I don't need the toolbox. Maybe I will later. I don't need to worry about it now. I just remembered. I can't, if I can't take the stairs... That, uh, There was... In... Where was it? It was on the way to the gallery, I think? Oh, hello. I wonder if I could rope up there, maybe not. Looks a little narrow. But up here... There's a window there. Do I think I'll be able to fit through it? 
my phone. Oh does shit! It. That was a waste. Did a quick save before doing that. How far back am I? Odd noise there. It's alright, man. It's nothing to worry about. Yeah, look at these horrible ledges. <laughs> I can't fit through, okay. Counted, put the, put the candles out there, so that's, you know, maybe worth something. Who's there? What was that? Oh, I need to look up for any other. Who was that? God, you're so worried all the time. I could waste a water arrow on that, but I don't think I will. What about this fireplace? Is there anything in here? Hello. Did I not see that before? No, that doesn't open. Oh, hang on, hang on. I can get up there. I can rip up there. That's... That sounds like a plan. Alright, always look up. Always look up. I mean... About 20 times as true in Thief as any other game, but uh, there was actually a, a tip this mission reminding us to. Kevil, here is a list of repairs porch, broken bench, great hall balcony, loose posts, lobby, leaks, grease tracks on those pocket doors, the leaks are making them rust shut. Lock the balcony doors behind you, I don't want another guest to slip and fall from their height. And return the toolbox this time, we're all tired of searching for a hammer when another nail comes loose. Alright, there's the grease we need. Oh, he's locked these doors thoroughly. Okay, well... That's... Kind of... Uh, good. Kind of annoying. I took my rope arrow out. Now oh, let's just stick another one in here. I can collect it later. I've got some to spare. I don't need to... I can leave it here for the moment. Let's go grease those doors and then we can make some progress. There's the can of grease. Well, it's still pretty noisy, but uh, you know. We'll do. Oh, there's a. Uh, some kind of shadowy figure up on the upper floor there that I was not paying attention to. The rooms. I wouldn't have even looked up if there hadn't been the spooky sound effect reminding me that this place is supposed to be haunted after all. To hotel exit. I like that they're using swords as their signposts. God, I don't like how bright it is. It's like all really dark and yet I'm enormously well lit. <laughs> I don't know where, where, anywhere that's in shadow. Cause it's like they've got the ambient light levels. I don't know what it is. There's something very weird about the lighting in both of these maps. It's very uncomfortable. Not in a spooky way, but in a. It has to be. Oh well. Sorry. Guess it was nothing. So almost as pitch black as I can that I can barely see. In order to be hidden, much darker than usual. <laughs> Is that you, Kevil? No, Kevil's elsewhere. 
I don't like this. It's fine. You're worrying over nothing. Help! Help! There's someone in here! How did you see me? <sighs> Should be not much too dark. Alright, you sit in that corner. Oh. See, that corner isn't really dark enough to hide the body properly. Ah, oh, maybe it is. What is this? This feels like it's significant. I don't know why yet. Where are we? Came north through that hall. So up here there's a just up here is the kind of well it's, I can't really do justice to the symbol. It's like a three dash E sort of thing. I don't know. Some what's the word? Astrological symbol. However, if we're up here, then we should be able to get through to the rooms. Room one is apparently the one that's the most haunted or something. Staff only, but they've not locked it. Okay. Ooh. Okay, they're not coming here. Let's just check if there's anything on the shelves. Carpet to land on, too. <laughs> to kitchen staff, please ask the butcher in town when we can expect a full side of venison. All we seem to get are deer legs. Unless I'm mistaken, the beasts have legs that are attached to bodies, or at least they used to. Makes you wonder what he does with the rest of the damn animal. Please see to it. Alright, the cook. So down here should lead to the rest of the basement, I think, that we couldn't access before. Staff dining room. The sir's name day is coming up, and as suggested, we will be throwing him a surprise party. Please sign up. Tilda, cake. Forney, decorations. Lois, decorations. Ermengarde, helping Tilda with cake. Thedric, punch. Joquin, spirited punch. Remember, keep it a secret. We've all been working hard, including the sir, and could use a little reprieve. Staff, please be on the lookout for missing chess pieces. Maybe one of our young guests has run off with them. Or, more likely, one of our very old guests has. Thank you. Yeah, see that? Looks really dim to me, and yet I stand here and I'm in 100% fully lit. Ah, like broad daylight. Ah, the room service bells. I'll take that. So I can't look across the room and judge. I mean, I can see what's slightly bright. But I can't use my normal knowledge of thieves to judge where I'll be visit where I'll be visible and where I won't. Which is uh, kind of frustrating. I want to go get that gold plate. Huh? Twas nothing. And all these people just wandering around. What's that? It's nothing. It's your imagination. Playing tricks on you. Ah, oh, she's gonna be. She'll see me through the fireplace if I run out now. You know what? There's a solution for this. Trying to 
avoid, you know, knocking everyone out, but uh, when two people are conspiring to have patrol routes that just don't give me uh, any room to breathe, I'll happily uh, make room. Go attend to those bells. Thank you. I've got cheese that needs stealing. Tilda, don't forget to make the chowder. As long as our pesky ghoul has that to fool around with, maybe he won't contaminate the rest of the food. Just don't serve it. Will. The ghost likes chowder. Hello, there's something at the bottom there. What is that? Is that loot? Is that gold? Yeah, gold plate, okay. Hmm. I don't think I can swim down there, right? That's gonna stop me. <laughs> Quiet. Where is this fellow that's wandering back and forth? Here he comes. Speak to them all. Oh, whatever. I'm not going to be able to clean that mess up. Cook's favourite corn and onion chowder. Corns, bunion, toenails. Okay. Let's get some bodies out of the out of the way. In case anyone comes looking. I wasn't expecting to start a mass panic just because uh, one of them saw me, but nope. It's uh, being scared of these is apparently contagious. Well, lots of food is good because uh, I have been having issues with fall damage lately. Alright, we have... Where are we? We're in the basement area. Uh, in the kitchens, which door is this? This is... East end, a door south, near the generator rooms. Or laundry, laundry I suppose, is the laundry. Help! Help! <clears throat> How could you see me there? It was pitch darkness. Well, your your problem, your problem is over. So this the wine cellar. We need a key for the wine cellar. Okay. I guess this is supposed to be supposed to be seen as well. You got some uh, machinery problems. An enormous mangle. Sheets, towels. Uh, 
guess if I follow him, he won't walk into me by surprise, right? That's my plan, at least. Well, nice little dark toilet. Basins, a mirror. Okay, it's not an actual thing. And nothing else, I think, in here. There we are, where's uh, good old Garrett? Play model. More dear legs. Ah, more, more posters underneath there as well. This one's had too many of them. Jay, I was going to nab the doll when she had her back turned. Only I didn't. Did you? I know S made the posters, but are you writing those notes? I've been here, I've been here a year now, and I know this sounds stupid, but I've seen things. I wouldn't discount everything the maids say. There seems to be one in particular who likes to prank. I don't know. Just meet me after shift again to talk. on the top bunks. <coughs> oh, someone. Not something, okay. Flash bombs, that's a surprising thing for the hotel staff to carry. Where are you going? Ah, oh, it's him just going back to the bathroom. Okay. It's not terribly, man. <laughs> what was that? Oh, I was reaching through the door and getting out, so that's why the door didn't close. Confused me. Hey, see, I saw that dingbat maid dumping chamber pot waste into the furnace again. She'd probably be fired, but the hotel can't seem to keep maids on staff. I heard one quit because she heard voices. She has a certain doll, if that's what you call it. Maybe if we threaten her, she'll stop. Otherwise, your, her beloved block of birch will end up roasting with the turds and will have some small satisfaction. You in? Fruit? Good. Will Ingram, head of staff. I think I knocked him out already. He's upstairs. Hello. Wine cellar key. Okay, that's good. We can get to the wine cellar now. I mean, don't have anything in particular we need to go to the wine cellar for except to steal all the good wine, I guess. But that's as good a plan as anything. I wonder if he keeps anything hidden behind here. Nope. <laughs> the Farmer's Almanac Annual Guide to the Zodiac. When to plow and when to just stay in bed. My dear Mr. Jim Jim is lost. If you find him, please return him to my room. Desperately, Sally Sue, chambermaid. Dear chambermaid, if you continue to dump the noble dumps into the furnace, then Mr. Jim Jim is never coming back. Signed, The Phantom. <laughs> dear staff who aren't the Phantom, please return my dear Jim Jim. Reward. Bonfire party tonight to the furnace. Free refreshments and chow broil, Jim Jim. All are welcome. Consider this your last warning. Where is the furnace? And we saw it from the basement, uh, deeper in the basement. 
Oh, here. Yeah, it's in the utility section. Because I know there's some loot in there. Let's put the tax on me in there. Okay, more people. I guess this heads towards the furnace. Yeah, that looks like the furnace. More utilities. What is going on there? They look quite dead. So, don't have the key for that. I don't think. Where's the keys? No, I just got the wine cellar key. Guess we should investigate the murder, huh? Or the accidental death, or whatever it is. Slowly and quietly. What? Okay, maybe they weren't lying. This is no longer sparking. The body's gone, the pool of blood is gone. Uh, I don't think I want to go down there just yet. Maybe they're right when they said this place is haunted, you know? It's, uh, doesn't seem quite so silly anymore. <laughs> now, I wasn't just imagining it. I can check the footage. You'll see there's the body and the pool of blood. What have we got here? Notice, this is a furnace, not a toilet. Please stop dumping chamber pot waste here. Fling it out into the canyon or bury it deep in the forest if you must, but not here. The stench of scorched turds is beginning to seep into the plumbing and some of us would rather come out of our weekly baths smelling better than we did before. Thank you. One of those chamber pots had a valuable bit of silver, I guess, in it. Someone there? Nope. Well, that takes me back upstairs. You know what? I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go check out the hatch. I don't know what's down here. But what's the worst that can happen? I get possessed by an ancient ghost and haunt these halls forever. Although the speed that I uh, search the place, I probably will be haunting them forever. There's a purse. Yeah, yeah. I get it, you're trying to be scary. Maybe a ghost is less... It's just trying to have fun scaring people rather than actually malicious. If he's trying to be malicious, he needs to work on his scary noises. <coughs> Whoa! Isn't doing it, isn't just isn't cutting it. Alright, we can get up to the ground floor. Uh, this. No, which staircase would that be? It's not that one. Go back, I can go back to the wine cellar. We've. I have to still yet to search the women's quarters as well, so let's just see where this comes out. To all staff, please be on the lookout for any strangers lurking about the hotel. There's a group of thugs in the village lately who I don't like the looks of, and who I certainly don't want near our establishment. Thank you. Will someone please take down these ridiculous posters? The joke has gone on long enough. Please return Mr... Uh, what's his name? To Sally Sue. Alright, 
So where are we now? Crossroads. Stuff on the course they have. Pool open for dawn until dusk. Alright, so this comes out here by the pool. Yeah, okay, so this is this is the stairs down to the basement. Come on. Why am I not let me take a capital B? Shift B does nothing, that's very weird. Oh well. Now oh, we're gonna need a key to get in the pool as well, okay. And south leads back to the ballroom, which I couldn't get into before, so that's right, north leads up there. Alright, I think we'll come back this way in just a minute. Let's head back to the basement. What's that? Nothing. Don't know what it was, and it's gone now. down there where we thought we saw a body. No, I'll put it here. Right, let's go check out the women's quarters now. It's bad of me to try and attempt sneaking right in front of her, but again, I was misjudging the darkness. Women's quarters were on the west side. Why are you watching me, man? Head of housekeeping, Mena Quinn. <laughs> that was close. Are you walking about or are you just standing there? Standing there, turning around. You know what? You can sleep too. <laughs> We've had enough hassle from the staff of this hotel. I'm expecting more hassle from whoever's pretending to haunt the place. Hello. Staff key. Good. I shall unlock a lot of doors. 10th mid-temper, first shift. Send Farron and Ermengarde to town for fresh herbs and stock. Will is sending one of the boys to go along. Farron to inquire about venison. We're all wondering. Second shift. That horrid man re reduced Sophie to tears again. I'm taking the next next shift for room 10 to size him up. Third shift. Sally Sue requested staff rooms be searched for her missing thing. Refused. So X from room 10 seemed to enjoy his chowder. 11th mid-temper. First shift. Nothing of note, thank goodness. A calm morning. Second shift. Should have known it was too quiet to be true. All the rooms but one are occupied and we are understaffed. No sleep tonight. Third shift. Eliza is white as icing after cleaning room 1. Consulted her the best I could. Told her it was probably rats. There's a room worse than that one, but thank the gods the sir had it shut up for good. Okay, room one is not the most haunted. Room ten. So where Nightingale is who wanted the child of it. Well so we have. Why don't these servants have more gold, you know? More salmon, I suppose. Hotel staff. It's a highly paid job, right? They should be swimming in with. Lois, I finally heard what you were talking about. That M and W have some kind of thing. I was in the larder and heard them through the wall. Gross, they're like 40 years old. It's fun passing notes like this, though. It reminds me of being a schoolgirl growing up in Fog, Fog Hollow when I... Keeps yammering on and on and on. Yeah, you're supposed to be passing notes, not novels. Oh, hello. Locked chest. Where's that staff key? Won't open it, will it? 
That would be silly. It's a, someone's personal chest. Uh, back to the basement map. Roman's quarters, this room. Don't know whose room it is. Can't see any evidence of names of ownership. Oh shit, she's not coming in here, is she? That would be very awkward. No, she's going there. Okay. Probably should not hang out in the bathroom too long either. Get out of here before she comes back. Is that you, Kevil? Please don't uh, hurt me. It won't hurt much. No, this is clearly your bedroom, right? You might as well stay in here. To the north, which I think is this way. Yeah. Laundry. Pile of bodies. Uh, here was the wine cellar. Keys, keys, keys. Some valuable wine. Oh, look, some moss going from the roof there. Could be handy. There's all these loud floors about. That's. Oh, I've only got two total. Collected a bunch last mission, but they don't carry over. Is somebody sleeping down here? Maybe get away from all that snoring. I wouldn't blame them. Alright, let's go back upstairs now. We have new access to staff areas with this key. And moreover, new places to explore, even apart from that. So this should take us through the ballroom. Wow, it is dark in this room, so... Is that noisy or is that carpet? Where's carpet? Right, where's the staff key? Yeah, and that one is going to open a lot of doors because it's not immediately taken away from us. noisy in here for being empty. Oh. Well, I guess they're just enjoying a little dance. You know? If I don't bother them, they won't bother me, right? That's my ghost's work, isn't it? I hope. Here in our lavish ballroom, your fairy tale wedding dreams come true. Book your special event today for a truly memorable occasion. Yeah, I don't think so. Let's go. What's up there? Pawn 4 is back on the chessboard. Is 
interesting. It seems magical. It's not like I could pick it up. It's, it's gone back to the chessboard over here. Wait, where was the chessboard? I thought it was in this room. Oh shit! Oh. As soon as I took a step, I realised it's not the doorway I was walking through, it's the uh, passageway. Where's my healing potion? Oh, where's all my food? Let's just eat my food. Get it out of my inventory. Yeah, that's pretty good. Wait, 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 wait. There's a ghost here, right? There's a chest pawn here that was suddenly spooky, if not entirely ghostly. Is someone there? Hey. There's the chest pawn. Right, so all the pieces on this side are back. Oh, look, it's the symbol again. And we have one out of twelve back on this side. Oh, a riddle in 16 minutes. Should playing chess your interest pique, then all the pieces you must seek. To aid thee on thy noble quest, I offer clues to where they rest. Safely perched above the hall, I watch the pieces as they fall. I gaze upon the Blackwell line while standing under candle shine. Above the deep I never slip, be careful lest you take a dip. Where dancers whirl about the floor, then rest before attempting more. In streams of four, the water falls amidst the ivy-covered walls. Through the glass, the dark of night, within the glow of learning's light. Where lord and lady meet and sup, to find me you must first look up. The smell of meat upon the spit, I feel the heat from where I sit. A little angel, heaven blessed, hath took me to eternal rest. Up among the dusty crates, in cobwebbed dark, the queen awaits. If me you'd steal, seek heaven's peel. I see the heavens from on high, look upon the lens if me you'd spy. The wind is whistling round my ears, I hope heights aren't among your fears. At night when all the shadows creep, from here I watch a black well sleep. Spirits roam these shadowed halls and stand upon the stair, but where can spirits be consumed whilst upon your derriere? Deep amidst the shadowed gloom, I share the oldest black well's tomb. Until the lady is at rest, you cannot hope to win this quest. But once the pieces placed may be, the mystery will unfold for thee. A symbol upon the stair foundation, make your chosen destination. A symbol upon the stair foundation, it was under the stairs, we saw that same symbol. Alright, well we have found, I can't take notes on this, we have found the, uh, the ballroom one. We have a notes page, we do. Now, now I'm more convinced than ever, the lady, uh, until the lady's at rest, the Red Lady of Blackwell, that's the, uh, at the heart of all the uh, legends around this place. Okay, so, where did I see that other ghostly figure? In the distance, I remember seeing them wandering about, but, uh, I can't remember where. Wasn't a gallery, right? Pretty sure it wasn't the basement itself. It was before I got access to this part of the basement, I'm pretty sure. So yeah, it wasn't there. Hmm. Then where could it have been? I don't remember. Don't remember at all. Alright, let's check. Safely perched above the hall, I watch the pieces as they fall. Well, we are in the Great Hall. You watch these pieces as they fall, do you? Are you up here somewhere? Oh, hello. Yeah, there it is, on the chandelier. Am I 
ever doing this. Are you... Did you come here from the lobby? You know, if you did... I was gonna say, that's useful for me, I can get in. But I have the staff key, I can get in anyway, right? I'll just let you get back to where you're going. Oh, the staff key should let me unlock those doors up there too, I think. Rook one. All right, am I getting this rope arrow back? Oh, look at this. All these candles individually can be blown out. It's like a birthday cake for Garrett. And now, to safely get down from here, falling onto the sofa maybe, Well, reasonably safely. Okay, two down. Where's the map? The map, the book. Gates upon the Blackwell line. I haven't seen pictures of the Blackwells here, have I? Well, yes, I have. Right here. Uh, while standing under candle shine. Odd noise there. Look, you. Stop lurking back there. I won't have any servants lurking. I'm not a servant, and I mean, I am lurking. That's true. Ah! Look, wh whoever you are. <laughs> I'm merely just trying to find the lost chess pieces, you know, this is a honest and worthy goal. Oh, you're the hotel proprietor, okay, you're relatively important in the scheme of things, I guess. See, you might be pleased to find me looking for your lost chess pieces. Under candle shines, so like under the chandelier? An actual ledge. Or is it just an edge? It's like an edge more than a ledge. Right, well there's a way up there. So if it's not down here like under one of these sofas or something. Make yourself comfortable. I read that one. How about the mantelpiece? Not on the mantelpiece. In the fireplace? I think that's not a candle shine, is it? It's not like underneath anything here. So, who is the prankster who put all these chest magical teleporting chess pieces around the hotel? Hmm. Now, it would have been really good to have that as map pages instead of a book. It's more accessible and you can take notes on them. But, um, well, I'll take notes on the notes page. Well, I can't see one here, so maybe I'll have to look upstairs above here when we get back there. No, I didn't want to open the door. I was trying to read the book. Above the deep, I never slip. Be careful lest you take a dip. Um, that by the pool? The streams of four, the waterfalls, miss the ivy covered walls. I have no idea where that is. Through the glass, the dark of night, within the glow of learning's light. Is there a library? Where Lord and Lady meet and sup. Okay, there's gotta be a dining room. The smell of meat upon the sit spit. I feel the heat from where I sit. That'll be the kitchen. Alright. Before I go any further, let's take my other rope. See if I can take this one back and unlock these doors. <laughs> the staff key. <laughs> can indeed, alright. That's what I'm looking for. Hang on. Have you come to help me? 
Well, I don't know who you are exactly. Portrait of Elizabeth Blackwell, I guess. Oh, it's not a key, it's a rosary. I have perhaps come to find out what's going on at least. We are... we came out of the Great Hall in here, so we're looking on this room. I didn't actually want to be upstairs just yet, but this gets us back to the ground floor if I keep going north. Let's go back to the stairs, we'll come back to this floor later. Try and keep it dark. What are those? Prepare to be treated as royalty. Our concierge will see to your every need, and during your stay with us, feel free to make the grounds your home. Enjoy the sumptuous meals served in our dining room, and celebrate merry hour in our upstairs lounge. For the adventurous guests, sign up for our wild burrick hunt. Ride in relative safety on an equestrian adventure beneath the lush green canopy of the surrounding forest. Whatever your whim, we are at your disposal. Welcome to the Blackwell. Quiet Wow, this current ambience is, uh... It's been, it seems to have been edited slightly or faster, but, um... Very familiar to me, it's, uh... The one I used at the start of my mission. Staff only. I've unlocked it already, have I? No, this is the way to the kitchen. Alright, roast, roasting on a spit. Where was the spit? Diagram. I haven't been there yet. Yeah, we saw that. Oh, the the kitchen. The rest of the kitchen was downstairs, wasn't it? Yeah. Spits. Spits are roasting over there. What did it say about the spits? The smell of meat upon the spit, I feel the heat from where I sit. Where do you sit though? In there? One. That was a diversion, it wasn't exactly where I intended to come. Just to try to explore the place, but um, since I found myself nearby, it seemed worth making a slight detour. Way to the dining room. Well, there's one in the dining room, and I haven't been there yet. But I also haven't been into the uh, lobby area. What is that room? I don't know. It's like a garden or something. This fellow who I keep spooking at. Oh, what was that? Don't worry, you soon won't be seeing anything more to bother you this night. Don't hurt me. Won't hurt you much. That's a nice dark corner. Uh, yeah. Alright, what have we got here? Second staff key. Well, I don't need two, right? I can leave one. Can't read that book. 
Dear Aunt Maisie, last week Armand wandered into the salon carrying a silver nugget in his palm. He was possessed with a horrid pallor. It reminded me of how he looked after spending that fortnight with his brother at the rectory. He was convinced more silver was to be found if only he could keep digging in the cellar. I warned him of the Bumblesons whose search for riches beneath their own estate led to quite a scandal. Seems everyone has a cursed temple under their homes these days. Well, I said to march right back down to the cellar and bury that infernal hunk of metal right where he found it. It took some violent shaking, spitting, and several roundhouse kicks to his face before he seemed to awaken from his stupor. I'm taking a holiday out in the country just to recover from it. I can hardly wait to summer with you again at the seashore, and enclosed are some biscuits for your precious little pooches. Your devoted niece, Clara. Silver in the cellar. Alright. I don't think I found any while I was down there. My dear Winifred, if you are reading this letter, then I am dead. I left instructions to have this note delivered to you in case the worst happens, and I am unable to return. I can hardly believe it, but I am in sight of the treasure. The legends are true. If I return, I will buy you out of indenturement and go on to live a life of dreams. I think of you fondly, and... This is stupid. See you at market. Elias. Hello, what's that there? Wait, is that a key I can get? No, just a boring key. Oh, nothing else in here. Where's my staff key? Ah. Oh, no, that does open. It barely lit up, I thought it wasn't actually lighting up at all. The, uh, the lobby safe. Hello. If we came east from behind the lobby, then where are we now? Um. Came here into the lobby. This must be room four. Who's in room four? But I'll look at the ledger either shortly. Whoever they are, they certainly don't keep things tidy. They've thrown their they've thrown their towel in the bath. I don't know if that's like a chamber pot they've just poured all over the floor or what, but uh, nearly stepping in it. Anything on top of the bed, you never know. It doesn't appear to be. Oops. I'm trying to stand on this chair, it's too low to mount onto. And jumping takes me right over it. There we are. Just to see the mountains. Complimentary chamber pot service. We hope you enjoy your stay. Well, he's filled multiple chamber pots and spewed in the mother. Man. I see. Lock the door so he won't be disturbed from his slumber. Well, I will disturb you no more, sir. Staff office. 11th mid timber, morning shift. Gave Kev all the list of duties and repairs. Got the usual surly look. Noontide shift. Post note about toolbox. Post note about strangers. Post note about dumbwaiter. Taff. Post -it note about the posters. Night shift. Seems Sally Sue is in quite a state. I don't know whether to feel sorry for her or shake her senseless. And I suspect her phantom isn't one of the lads. If, only, if she only knew. Went over tomorrow's duties with Mena. She gave me that coy little grin again. 
I think I'll ask her to tidy the wine cellar with me. Uh, that explains uh, the bed in the wine cellar. Alright, what, what have you got here? Any secrets hidden in your bookcases? Or is it just a boring, a boring office? Looks like just a boring office. Where does this take us? Oh, uh, yeah, I've been here. This comes up from down below. Yeah, right. Okay. And there wasn't a door there. I went through there. Yeah, okay. Check the map again. So we've been in room four. Let's just mark it off. Um... I wrote last there in room one, but that's the last to be booked. One, two, and three. So it's a dining room and pool, pool room. Rooms one, two, three I've yet to explore on this floor. I think everywhere else I've been. Now there was a mention of another a room which they never actually let out, you know, to people anymore. I wonder where that is here, maybe? No, surely not. The rooms are bigger than that. Ah, this one. It's just this one really haunted one near the observatory then. I guess. Crypt? How do you get to the crypt? Well, there was a note in the chess piece book about... Uh, something that suggested it would be found near a grave, so... Right, to the dining room and stuff is north. So that courtyard. All right, we'll get to the courtyard as well. Okay, I'm going the same direction. I see. To the dining room, to the courtyard, and then there's another gong. Hello, I see one waterfall. Ivy, four waterfalls. That's another one. That, what, another clue. What's it say exactly? In streams of four, the waterfalls amidst the ivy colored walls. Okay, there'll be another chess piece in here, I guess. And some coins. Luckily, the water's shallow enough, I don't have to get my feet wet. I can just reach in from here. Hmm. Ah, there's a missing piece to this plaque. Okay. Is there anything on the top of there? Can I? Can't see. I imagine then that is something to do with our ghost, maybe, or our chess piece. Surely it's not nothing to do with the chess piece. Maybe it's under the bench or, or something. There's an open window up there. I don't see if I, I don't see a way to get a, a rope up there. But if there's anything on top of this, then that'd be the place to see it from. All right. Well, the courtyard will remain a mystery for now. Let's check the dining room. Wait, where does that go? Oh, that is to the dining room. All right, well, let's check the dining room then. Now, oh, of course, it's a dinner go. Brunch, mutton pie, onion cakes, kidney porridge, deer legs, supper, soast pig's head, squash turnips, rye brittle, deer legs. Dessert, tansy cakes in peppermint cream and gingerbread dainties, deer leg pudding. I certainly have an excess of deer legs. Where 
Where are you going, ma'am? You should probably go back to the kitchen. It's not safe in here. There's a thief looking about. <coughs> Someone there? No, but I was oh well. standing in broad Sorry. daylight, apparently. Well, thank goodness this is all carpeted. Nothing there of value. Okay. Hello, somebody dropped a ring. Is that you, Kevil? Don't know what it was, and it's gone now. If I'd gone, you meant I closed the door. Don't you quite right. Alright, there was another chess piece in this dining room, apparently. What does it say? Where Lord and Lady meet and sup to find me, you must first look up. Up the dining room. Where exactly? Uh-huh. I think I see it. Yep, alright, so... What's above the dining room on the second floor? Well, it is the dining room, but we can get around there. Uh, and get it from the second floor. So I will not waste another rope. I will, however, look confused as I'm disoriented. That's the kitchen, right? <clears throat> Alright, I think I'm done in here. I mean, I might be more in here, but uh, not that I know of. Alright. That's a strange sound to be emanating from uh, these walls, I guess, from the air vent. Ah, uh, maybe it's just, just air blowing. To pool rooms one to four. Oh, that's right, we haven't been to the pool either. To pool room, dining room, okay. Yeah, yeah, rooms one to four. Sure. Travel Journal, 11th of September. During our stay in the city, we took in a new play at the Opera House, which was God's awful, and I seem to have misplaced my theatre glasses. We decided to break our travels at the Blackwell. The service here is excellent, and the kidney porridge the best I've had. The views of the canyon are stunning, but there is an ominous feel to the surrounding landscape here. George has been so gloomy since we arrived, so he put himself to sleep with a nip of wine. We'll continue our rest here for another day to replenish our spirits before heading to the coast. Oh, she's moving about. <coughs> Complimentary chamber pot service. We hope you enjoy your stay. Is there something on the mantelpiece? There is something on the mantelpiece. She'll see me there. I feel like I'm in the dark and I'm not. in the bath. Or beside the bath. <coughs> well, unless you keep something about the bed. <coughs> Which is always worth just, you know, having a look. Good night. Alright. Well, I think this is a really good place to end the episode. So, uh, thanks so much for watching, and I hope to see you soon in the next episode.